My name is Roger Tiley. I studied documentary photography at Newport, at Clarence Place, from 1982 to 1984. I also studied later in my career on the MA. I started my career um, as an apprentice industrial photographer. I worked for a company called Lucas, who made various car parts and they were based all around the UK. And my job was to photograph all sorts of different things from works accidents to um, their company magazines and their advertising, etc. Um, during that time, I was four years working there. Um, I started looking at the work of documentary photographers like Ian Berry, Martin Parr, uh, David Hearn and Bruce Davidson. Um, I, I was really inspired by their work and decided to apply for the course at Clarence Place. I believe I was a very quiet, very nervous boy in my interview from the South Wales Valleys. And being in the presence of people like David Hearn, Ron McCormack and Daniel Meadows, was really awe-inspiring and the first task was um, called Man at Work and we used 35mm cameras, film cameras in those days to go out and photograph people at work, come back, process a film, make a contact sheet and go in for a crit with one of the lecturers and we did this sort of two or three, four times a day so you would get sent back out um, to improve your work, you're given the direction of what, what you need to be looking for and then come back, process a film, make contact sheet and do, have a crit again. It was fantastic. One of the things that we did in the second year was the um, thing called the Newport Survey which was a fantastic opportunity to work on images for publication and um, the theme for the Newport Survey during my second year in 1983-84 was industry. After a few weeks of photographing, Ron McCormack informed me that the Times newspaper were looking for, to do a feature on InMOS and therefore they wanted to buy my pictures, which was a really great thing. It was my first publication in a national newspaper, so it was a big buzz. Um, during the course I started photographing coal mines, you know, coming from the South Wales Valleys and having family that have worked in the coal industry, it seemed a natural thing for me to, to want to document. I spent quite a few months photographing at different coal mines around the, the South Wales coal field and then during the latter parts of the, the course the miners went on strike, the 1984-85 miners strike. And so I thought I'd take my work up to, to London and see some picture editors and see if I can get some, some work from them. And I did. I was very, very lucky. And I worked for a couple of national newspapers as a freelancer um, for, for about a year and a bit. Um, so it really gave me a boost to my career. I'd been involved in teaching photography and photographic education for, well, more than 23 years now. Um, and this has given me really the opportunity to, to work as a photographer on long-term commissions, um, including the, the, the commissions that I've had. I've been to America on numerous occasions to photograph the coal camps of uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee and Kentucky. The work that I'm, I'm producing at the moment is an um, Arts Council of Wales major commission, which is to photograph the industrial coastline in Wales. And, you know, photography is always a learning curve, so um, I think it is really important to, to develop your style and to, to create new imagery. And the nice thing about this um, project is that I'm working at night and I'm using the technique of painting with light. So it's very much sort of landscape photography, but la landscape documentary photography. I love photography. I, w I wouldn't change my career for anything else. It gives me the opportunity to go to places that I wouldn't normally go unless I had the excuse of photography. And it also um, allows me to, to meet different people from different walks of life, from different parts of the world, and not just photograph them, but to just understand the, the, the way they live and, and the things that they do. And I think that is a fascination for me.